from McMorgan Next Practice Marketing. And today I'm here to talk to you about how to evaluate ideas. Now we know ideas are hugely important because they can be the difference between whether something connects and changes an attitude and behavior or whether it's just blah, blah, blah. So first of all, I want to stress that evaluating an idea is not about a checklist. It's not about tick off humor, tick off this, tick off that. You actually need a strategic framework to be able to understand if this idea is any good. Now we've actually looked at over 10,000 campaigns and analyzed using technology to ensure that this framework that I'm about to share with you is relevant to all types of categories, all types of cultures across all different countries. And it absolutely works. It also means you can have a strategic conversation with your agencies rather than an executional one about should it be a beach or should it be a park? So let me show you the framework. The first thing we have is purpose. Now, purpose is the overall way of saying, is your whole brand strategy integrated? What your brand is about, its benefit, its reason why, its personality. Do you see that in the idea? Does it help to bring your brand purpose to life, this idea? Because if it's not going to help them buy your brand, then it's not a good idea for your product. It may be an interesting idea, but not for your business because you're about driving results. So purpose absolutely has to be in there. The next thing is distinctiveness. Now we all know how many messages are out there today. In fact, um, last, last count I heard, there's about 5,000 messages that everyone sees every day. So it does need to be distinctive. It can't be same old, same old, same old boring. And inherently you know this because you're also a consumer and you know if something is boring and blah, 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 or whether it's actually distinctive and different. The third thing is really around relevance. And relevance is driven very much by your insight. So the insight which really helps to engage your consumer and shift their attitude. The insight helps to bring that relevance to life. So they say, huh, yeah, they're talking to me. That's something that I want. And last but not least, there's context. And context is around right to play. Do you have a right to actually be in this conversation? If I was to use an example, um, and this is an Australian example, uh, a wrong context was when Woolworths used Anzac, the Anzac pictures, to be able to promote their brand. And Australians said, no, that's not okay. That's not appropriate. You don't have a right to play around Anzac Day. You give me fresh fruit and vegetables, but you don't have a right to use our Anzacs for a commercial purpose. So context is really important because if you get it wrong, you'll get a big backlash from the consumer, which is the opposite of what you want. So with these four boxes of purpose, distinctiveness, relevance, and context, you can actually look at the idea and assess it. Now, sometimes you may have, you know, a green box, you know, green for good on some of them, and one area may be orange, or you may have some areas which are red. This means that you can actually have that strategic conversation with your agency. For example, I'm loving purpose, distinctiveness, and context, but I don't feel like the insight is coming through. So that relevance isn't there. Can you please address that agency? because I like all the rest, but I want you to go back and address relevance. Also, if none of this is here, then it's really important to be able to say, this is not a good idea. Don't waste your agency's time. Actually explain to them why you don't think this is a good idea and ask them to start again. This time, thinking about these things which are important to an idea. So I hope that's helpful. Evaluating ideas is one of the toughest jobs in marketing, but with this framework, it absolutely gives you the tool to be able to have that constructive conversation. Thank you. 
Hi, it's me again. If you enjoyed this video series, then maybe you wanna think about coming to one of our training programs, because not only do we go into a lot more detail around the frameworks that you've seen, we actually provide live examples, real case studies, and role plays so that you actually understand exactly how to do this back in your job. So don't delay, come and join us. We would love to see you there.